Okay, here we are, guys. We're doing Mr. C's April 28th Angelastic Assignment um, for Day B. Okay, so grab a piece of paper, work through the 10 problems here with me as we go through the video and we go through the steps of solving these and then use your answers to fill in Mr. C's Edge Elastic. Um, if you're having trouble submitting the Edge Elastic and getting credit for it, let me know. We can work that out and figure out what's going on and make sure you get your credit. Okay, so let's move on to the questions. Question number one. Which number is equivalent to 3 to the 4th power over 3 to the 2nd power? Okay, when we see this line here, that is a division sign. So we're going to be using the division rule. Remember when we divide powers with like basis, we keep the base, which is 3. We subtract the exponents, 4 minus 2, we get 3 to the 2nd. In this problem, though, we don't have the answer written in exponential form, so we have to go a step further. So make sure, remember, 3 to the second power simply means write the base down the number of times you see the number you see in the exponent. That's the number of times you multiply the base. So I've got 3 times 3, and that gives me, where in the world did I get 81? Wow, that gives me 9, guys. Holy man, let me fix that. See, we all make mistakes in math, but it's easy to correct. So we're going to get rid of this bad boy. And the answer is 9. Okay, sorry about that. Wow. All right, next question. Which expression is equivalent to 4 to the 7th power times 4 to the 5th power? Negative 5th power, I apologize. So we've got like bases. 4 is our base in both of these. So we're multiplying. We're going to add our exponents. We add 7 plus negative 5. Carefully to me use smato, right? And we move that and we get 4 to the second power. 7 plus negative 5 is 4. Okay. Question number 3. The expression you're given is 3 to the second power to the third power times 3 to the 6th power over 3 to the 4th power. So we have three different rules in here. We've got our, oops, I'm not going to move. Ah, man, oh, man. I keep forgetting that I um, have all these other, I have all, mm -hmm. I have all these other tools on here and nothing wants to stay in the right place unless you're touching the right thing. Okay, so the first rule we have to deal with is 3 to the 3 squared to the third power. Okay. When we use that rule, that's a power to a power. So we keep the base and we multiply the exponents. So I end up here when I do that with a new expression at the top. 3 to the 6th times 3 to the 6th over 3 to the 4th. Our next step is going to be to multiply our on the top. Get out of here. We're going to multiply 3 to the 6. We're going to multiply those exponents or multiply those two terms. So we keep our base. We add our exponents. We get 3 to the 12th, and I still have that. 3 to the 12th over 3 to the 4th. And our last rule we're going to use on this problem is when we're dividing like, ter like these terms with like bases, we keep the base and we subtract the exponents. 12 minus 4 gives you 8. So your answer is 3 to the 8th. All right, let's try this next one without me screwing up my slide. Okay, in the next problem number 4, it says to simplify the following expression given below, expressions, and then match them to their appropriate result. So eventually when we figure out what it is, you're going to drag these over. We all have the same term, k. So we've got k as our base in each of these problems. See, right down here. So we know that we've got like bases. We're multiplying these terms. So we know that we are going to, if you're, if you're multiplying with exponents, you keep the base, you add the exponents. So I've got k to the third times k to the eighth. I add 3 to 8. I get k to the 11th. I have k to the third times k to the second, 
raised to the second power. I keep my base k. I add my exponents and I end up with, come on, get over there. Now my toucher thingy doesn't want to work. k to the fifth. Okay, now I have k to the fourth times k to the sixth. I'm going to keep my base k, add my exponents, 4 times 4 plus 6 is 10. Finally, k to the 6 times k to the 6. Keep the base, add the exponents, I get k to the 12. Okay, so you know where the answers are. All you're going to do over here on your edge elastic screen when you do it is you're going to drag those into the spots they belong. Okay? All right, question number 5. It says simplify the expression x to the third power y in parentheses raised to the sixth power. Okay, so we have a power to a power. The power to a power rule tells you to keep your base and multiply your exponents. Okay, so as we tackle this, so I've got x to the third, x to the third raised to the sixth power, I right here, and I end up with x to the 18, right? Okay, as we look at the y's, you need to go up here and remember that if you don't have an exponent, you know the exponent is 1. So I've got y to the first power times the sixth power, and I end up with y to the sixth. So my final expression is x to the 18th, y to the sixth. When you have a power to a power, you keep the base, multiply your exponents. Okay, we've got two terms here. We've got 12x to the negative 6, y to the 10th, times 3x to the 7th, y to the first power. Remember, there was no exponent there, so I already put that 1 in, so I don't forget that I'm going to be adding 1 here because I'm multiplying. So the rule tells you when you're multiplying with exponents, keep your base, add your exponents. Now, first we're starting off with 12 and 3, and that's easy enough. We are just going to multiply 12 and 3, and we get 36. Now, we've got x to the negative 6 times x to the 7th. The rule tells us that we're going to keep the base x. We're going to keep the base x. And we're going to add our exponents. Negative 6 plus 7 gives us x to the 1st. Then we're going to work with our y's. I've got y to the 10th times y to the 1st. Keep my base y. Add my exponents. I get 11. My final answer is 36x y to the 11th. Okay. Number 7. We have another set of terms that have more than one part or more than one base in there. Okay. Different bases. So we need to go through a couple of steps. This time we're not multiplying, though, we're dividing. So we're going to be using our dividing rules. If we divide numbers, we divide numbers. If we have a base, a variable base raised to a power, we keep our base and we subtract our exponents. This is where we're, to, we're, where we're going to want to be careful, guys, with our subtraction because I see some negatives in there. Okay, so first step, we are going to just... Divide 11 or 4 over 12 simplifies to 1 over 3 or a 3 at the bottom of my um, expression, my answer. Okay, next we're going to work, look up here. We have to work with the x to the 10th divided by x to the negative 2. Look up here, x to the 10th minus x to the, remember because we're subtracting the exponents, we have 10 minus negative 2. Use motto. 10 minus negative 2 becomes 10 plus 2, which gives us x to the 12th. Okay? Then we have y to the negative 3rd over y to the 1st. I subtract my exponents. I get y negative 3 minus 1, or negative 3 plus negative 1 gives me y to the 4th. I can't have an answer that has a negative exponent. So now we have to go back and remember another one of our rules we've learned about our exponents. Let me get this, just get this out of here. Okay, when we have a negative exponent, we use that flip in the switch thing Mr. C taught us. So what I always do is I take my 
exponent, I put it over one, and it reminds me that I need to do the switcheroo and flip my um, exponent to the bottom so that it can be positive. So when I do that, I end up with an answer that is x to the 12th over 3y to the 4th because we had to flip the switch on that negative exponent. Okay? Number eight. We have multiplying terms with exponents. So we're going to I identified the like terms with the colors underneath. So I'm going to multiply a to the fifth times a to the first. Remember when there's no exponent, you put that one in there. So I have a to the fifth times a to the first or a to the fifth five plus one gives me a to the sixth. Now I have b to the third plus b to the seventh and it gives me b to the tenth. Okay, this is one of the easier problems, but all of the problems are using the same exact rules. Okay, number nine. I've got x, y to the second, over x to the second, y. This is a division problem. So I'm going to keep my like bases. I'm going to subtract my exponents, and I'm going to see what I come up with. And when I subtract x to the negative 1, or x1 minus 2, I get x to the negative 1. When I subtract y to the second, or y, 2 minus 1, I get y to the first. Remember, I can't have a negative exponent, so I'm going to put that x over to the negative 1 over 1. I'm going to do the flip here, and I end up with an answer that is y to the first over y to the first, or, y, or x to the first, and that's y over x. So here's our answer right here. Uh, I try to do too many fancy, tricky things with this, and it trips me up. Okay, here's our answer. This form works too, but to actually put it in there, you have to put that exponent when they mean the same thing. So make sure you put that y over x in there. Okay? And last question in this. We have another problem that looks very similar to problem number nine. We have x to the third, y to the fourth, divided by x to the fifth, y to the eighth. Okay, so I'm going to use my rule for dividing exponents. So I'm going to keep the base, add the exponents, or subtract the exponents, I apologize. x, 3 minus 5, gives me x to the negative 2. y, 4 minus 8, gives me x to the negative 4. I know I'm going to turn, put those two over 1 because they're both negative exponents. And then I am going to use my little flipping the switch so that I have my positive exponents. So the answer to this problem is 1 over y to the second, or x to the second, y to the fourth. Okay. All right, that takes us through today's math. If you have any questions about specific problems, you don't understand it, you need help making sure you get it submitted, just reach out to me or any of your other teachers in any of your classes, whoever you feel um, most comfortable reaching out to, and we can help you make sure that you are getting credit for the work you're doing. Okay, guys, have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine, and I will talk to you soon.